Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, just wanted to give an update on this 20 gallon Fluval Fresh uh, aquarium. Show a couple things that are going on uh, in the tank. Really wanted to give an update because I got some new fish right here. These, uh, they're all swimming away from me now, but those are, uh, Threadfin rainbow fish. Some gorgeous males and a few females. There are seven of them. I believe uh, I got what I could as far as male and females. Three females and four males. I did talk about not adding any more fish to this tank. But these fish in particular have been a fish on, uh, well, I've wanted to keep for quite a while. In fact, sometime last year, never got filmed. But, um, well, back in 2021, I bought a Fluval Edge 12 gallon with the intention of putting them in there. And uh, never got them. Very expensive fish at the time for me. They're ten dollars a piece, and I would not pay that money. I would only pay with a discount, like I don't know, maybe like eight dollars uh, at the time. But still, I wanted a good group of them, and that never came. It's a very expensive fish in the tank. I never got it the way I wanted it, so I sold that tank, and and you know had to grow a bit in aquascaping to finally get something that I was proud of and uh, you know all part of the learning process of course so I don't regret any of that um, or have any issues with it but just wanted to get better at scaping and really give uh, get a tank that the fish can enjoy and I can enjoy and so it had been since 2021, so uh, about a year and a half since we even got these fish. Of course, they're still on my radar. I just never had a, you know, never really imagined getting them. These SBA reservoirs were something that uh, were on my radar even longer, and that uh, something I wanted significantly more. And so when I got these guys, I thought, wow, this is it. You know, I love the way they look. It just looks fantastic. We got our pisto, the centerpiece. There are some odos and some shrimp. Uh, there's one of the shrimp. We got a <laughs> we got a healing betta. Eventually, he'll get his own tank, like we talked about. But then these guys came up at the store, and I just I just had to get them, and they look fantastic. I mean, that male right there is just beautiful. It's funny, George Farmer and uh, just posted a video with with uh, with these guys on them in a in a biotope setup. Kind of kind of good timing. I've had these guys for a little over two weeks as of filming this video, and they've been doing fantastic, eating well. Um, of course, they're eating eating uh, frozen Daphnia. They're eating crushed up vibrabites and crushed up legit fish food that's what everyone is eating a mix of those things gonna add you know maestro shrimp sometimes but it's quite big so they have trouble eating it but that one's a little skinny that female uh right right there she's a little skinny but she'll she'll uh i think bulk up in no time she's the smallest one out of the bunch but she's doing well still I did a major trim back the other day, try and uh, clear out some 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 space. I trimmed back here, trimmed back here. I need to move this this uh, Najas back right there. A few things have happened on this side. Who knows why? The chain sword and the you can see the remnants of it right there, but the Scarlet Temple Mini have d died back significantly, and I, I don't know why. And then this uh, carpet of dwarf clover has not been doing this good. 
but then the Liliopsis over here has been doing really good. So I plugged root tabs into this, um, try and you know get it get it going again. So hopefully in a few weeks we'll see some improvement, especially now you know of course the CO2 is running. But the uh, there is some Java fern that just got thrown in here that's starting to recoup, and then here's some Ludwigia that I'm going to cut and replant those. Move this bunch of Najas over here to kind of fill in that space. And once again, the goal over here is to get these Cryptolensi to spread. There's some root tabs that they've just been using, but don't know how to get them to spread. <laughs> so all this will fill back in in a couple of weeks. That Lemnophila and the Scarlet Temple. Um, there's a lot of competition from the plants underneath with these floating plants, and so I constantly am pulling out duckweed. You can see I just did it the other day when I trimmed back the plants to, to help nutrients get in to the other plants over over this. Because uh, duckweed is just a pain, as you, for those of you who dealt with it, you know. But, uh, yeah, this this Aponogeton is doing well. The dwarf lily is doing well. I'm very very pleased with this tank, and uh, I'm very thankful that all the fish are doing well in there. There's the female pisto. Hello. An experiment I want to do. I should have done it the other day. Is use rainwater to to do a water change on this, not an entire water change, but maybe about a 10-15% water change. See how the rainbows react, but also the main thing is see how these epistos react, see if we can get some breeding out of them. You can see he just ate his you know, chunky stomach. All these uh, rasboras are doing really well, really chunky little guys. I just, they're just such a joy to watch this tank. There's the discus over here. They're all begging, wanting some food, even though they have already been fed. Still very pleased with this tank. Uh, it's hard to choose a favorite tank out of the the three that that I that I have. I'm I'm very I'm very blessed to have these beautiful tanks, and it's the it's very rewarding, and uh, I hope you guys can share that sentiment with your own tanks. Like, this is in years of progression and learning, coming together into these beautiful tanks that 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 we create, and uh, hopefully these these tanks and in, inspire others. You know, uh, for those of you who don't keep fish and keep aquariums, hopefully this can inspire you even though every little detail is not perfect it's still a, a wonderful work in progress that is continually growing and changing and uh, it, it's just it's a wonderful experience to keep aquariums and uh, I just I just love sharing it and hopefully can inspire others to uh, to get into the hobby once again guys Thank you all for watching um, and being interactive. I love responding to comments. I love all the compliments. You guys are wonderful. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.